Okay, let's see. Oh, jeez, the wife is in the way. Oh, let me cool start this baby. Let's test the angles out on where this camera's at. How's this side look right here? My double chin, they're gonna gain some weight since basic training. I didn't trim my nose hairs. <laughs> All right, so the purpose of this video is to find out how much money you can really save by doing your own service on your motorcycle. And more specifically, the oil change. Uh, usually, I mean, I the only motorcycle that I've ever serviced or used to service was my dirt bikes growing up when I used to race motorcycles, and motocross and dirt bikes and two strokes. So I never really did my own service on my street bikes. I usually took it in because I, you know, I used to push the limits to the motorcycle on the street. I used to do some really crazy stuff. And I just felt like it was, I was more confident in the dealer doing it. Now I paid the price of the dealer doing it when I was younger. And now that I'm older and I went to, went to them for a couple of times, a couple of visits. And I just realized they're no better at it than what I was when I was younger. Uh, they just kind of ripped the money out of my pocket, so to speak. So today's video is just to compare how much the dealer charges for that first 600 mile service on your machine compared to what it really is out of pocket. And, I, and I've already called them and it seems like for all the parts you need just for the oil service, it's like 60, 70 bucks. I'm not sure exactly what kind of oil that, rec that is, but I'll get more detail when I get there to the shop. But my thinking is, if I was gonna spend three, four hundred dollars, which is what I'm assuming what it is for that 600 mile, I could be walking away with like a motorcycle stand. I could be getting some extra parts for my motorcycle, just being able to do it myself. And I should be doing it that way. So today's video is to see how much money I actually save compared to having them do it myself, having them do it for me. With those savings, what else could I buy? Uh, and if you're gonna do your first oil change, I highly recommend that you do have a motorcycle stand because having that bike lean to one side while you're doing the service is no bueno. So with that in mind, let's go to the dealer. We'll be looking at about 350 range. How much of that is uh, like parts? How much is that of like labor costs? Labor cost is like two ninety, and then and then give or take sixty, seventy dollars in parts. All right. Do you know if you uh, take military? I do. Um, the parts, you know, the the military discount is going to go on my parts. Just the parts Usually alone. It's about eight to ten percent. Oh, just on parts alone, right? Mm -hmm. How much time you go to uh, the military? Oh my goodness gracious! Look at this Z nine hundred RS. Oh look! It says you can save a thousand dollars. But there's some add-ons. I used to be into nothing but super sports. But as you get older, you realize that they just aren't comfortable. Still love them. Look at this. Is this the Suzuki Katana? First time I see it in person. Honestly, not that bad. But you know this wide seat. If you don't have long legs, this takes a lot of your length away. Wide seats. What is this? I don't know what this is. This is money. This is people who have money. What is it? It says caramel or caramel. This one's old. 
Oh, they got a whole bunch of them. It says Vanderhall. One point five liter four cylinder turbo six speed odd trans heated seats heat cruise control boost and shift gauge nineteen inch machine face wheels two inch sport two exhaust you're looking at thirty six nine fifty like I said money they said people are buying them. MT10. Back in the day. Oh. Certified armor. Do you put prices on these things? Oh yeah, they do, right there. In the back so you can fall in love with the first before you see the price oh 210 all right so parts and an oil change parts and an oil change he said it was about 60 70 bucks which is what i'm gonna pay for and then geez another 300 dollars to be able to do it 367 what could you do with the extra 300 dollars Leo? Yes. All right. Nolan, brother. How's it going? This is better? Yes, sir. Done. Hey, I was going to ask you, what kind of oil did you say that we were going to use? Sorry, let me literally throw it at you. Yeah. Full synthetic. Is this the? Is this $10 a quarter or is this like $12.98? Now, if you're comparing it to Mobile One, you're getting a much better oil. This is better than Mobile One? Yes by a long shot. So Mobile One has been hurt and steady only due to the fact that they have all the brand recognition from their automotive. Um, yeah. Realistically, in regards to oil quality overall, you're going to do better with a genuine made for motorcycles by the manufacturer. Also, you have somebody to yell at if it blows up your motor. Mobile uh, One won't okay, give okay. a toot about you. If you use Suzuki oil in your Suzuki and then you call Suzuki and say my motor blew up, Suzuki has to care. Oh, yeah, Additionally, yeah. this is your visor. So I'd be happy to pull up that photo for you, but I'm a little hesitant to open up the whole box. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I'm still hesitant whether or not I was going to actually go with it today or not. Absolutely. Uh, I know that I want it. I just don't know if I'm, I'm doing it today just because I'm still debating on which stand. Now, could I see the stand you were recommending? Oh, it's in the box. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. So you said there was the other one that you need to spool for that one, right? Correct. And this one you don't need. Correct. But I was looking online and some of the Vortex were like 80 bucks. So I didn't know what the price difference on the ones that I was looking yeah. online. So I even called the uh, Cycle Gear. Yeah. And she had in stock Trackside. Mm -hmm. This is not the stand I was hoping to show you. Which explains a lot. T minus two seconds. Yes. Components. So some research. I was first looking at a Pitbull, but he said that's like name brand recognition so you're paying more for the the name and there's many other companies that do just as good so this particular one's vortech that's your guy but i need spools right yep so once again like i was looking online for these vortex and they're coming up at 84. nice yeah so they're like partzilla revzilla those guys probably so yeah um would you be able to price match no no. no. Um, I can do what I can to get close, though, because it all right. depends on how much room I've got. If I can, they can yell at me later. Hey, if, if, you, if you can get really close and, and I can walk out with it today, yes. even better. That way I don't have to wait for it. And with the holiday shipping is like really bad. Yes. Absolutely. But you will considering, that I, considering that I am going to have to pick up some spools as well. Yeah. Let me know what you can do, Leo. Absolutely. Let me verify which spools you need. GSX-S 2014. 2020 GSXS 750, yeah? Yeah, that threw me off a little bit. No, you're all right. I was like asking my birthday. I was like, I had to think for a moment. So Suzuki oil, huh? Full synthetic. Mm -hmm. 5,000 miles? Um, I always recommend three. Three? Three or a year, right? Or right. three and six months? Whichever comes first. Three or, six, uh, three or six months or three and a year? 3,000? Or a year, All right. whichever comes first. Yeah, it's gonna be a year for me. I don't ride that often. Gotcha. It's one of those things where I just love having a motorcycle, but I don't get to ride as much as I want. I understand that. Uh, I figured the rest is shipping. All right, how are we feeling about the visor? Um, do you have a phone mount 
Yeah. In stock? Yes. I'm probably going to go with that instead for now. Smart. Do you uh, think without the visor, it would blow my phone off though? No, no. And I'll show you exactly why. With that in mind, the reason I recommend that I ram mount so heavily and heartily is due to the fact that it works. So, it's a one-hand operation, super easy right. with gloves, nothing fancy. Slap your phone in there. With the case off. Oh, right. yeah. You yeah. can do it. Nice. Dang, if your bike is shaking that hard, you have a whole nother problem. <laughs> Additionally, if you're concerned at all, this rubber baby buggy bumper is exactly for that purpose. Wrap that puppy around each corner. Perfect, man. Not going anywhere. Sounds great. So, ram yeah. mount for the win. All I right. actually have a $1,200 customer review um, for a cheaper phone mount that they had purchased. It's the entire back of a Google phone. Okay. Like a $1,200 Google phone. It's ridiculous. All right. So, the way to go. All right, how now, much is that? 60. 60. Now, my number one recommendation to you is when you get home, put just a smidge of super glue in there, slap them right back. The number one complaint that I have about these is the Bootsies like to run away. All right. I've never had it happen on mine, but when you hear reviews, you let people know. So just a smidgen of super glue back there, shove them right back on, and they're never going to come off. All right, perfect. I'm going to go in with that instead of the visor for today. Yeah. And no. I'll just come back later for the visor. No worries. And I actually have two of those visors in stock, so okay. let me know if you need them. I'll probably be back quicker than I think I will, but... Probably. Yeah. That's the way it goes, right? It's in your head now, and you're like... Oh, yes, sir. You know it. It's sitting at the store. I can do it today. Let me put it on. Exactly. It's all right if I'm eating sandwiches for a week. Let me do it. Right? No joke. I haven't eaten sandwiches in my whole life. How you doing, ma'am? I'm doing good. How about you? Pretty good. Leo did say I had a $10 something something customer service loyalty. Look at you go. Something like that. <laughs> you got something, huh? <laughs> 647 you do you got ten dollars perfect i'll take it then he said something about looking good you might be able to take five dollars more <laughs> and he was referring to you man not me <laughs> yeah i don't know what he's talking about uh. <laughs> all right so let's recap so Walking in, if you're trying to do your first 600 mile oil change on your motorcycle, it's about $67 in parts and roughly about $290 in labor costs. That's $290 in labor costs. Uh, even if you try to get like a military discount, you only get a military discount on your parts. You're not going to be able to get it on the, the labor itself. So let's take a look at the final receipt and see what I paid for and what I've saved and what I might have actually picked up extra because I'm doing it myself. All right, so here's my receipt starting from the top. I got a Vortex rear stand for about $99.98 before tax. He did have it listed at $120. I mentioned to him that I found them online for about $84. Uh, I'm a little impatient. So I opted to actually pick up what he had in stock for $99. So I did save $20 uh, compared to his original price. But I did overpay considering that I didn't get it online. But with that said right now during the holidays anything that you order online you're gonna, it's gonna take weeks to get and i'm just not gonna wait that long the filter itself was fourteen dollars 98 cents the quartz of oil were twelve dollars 98 cents and i'm getting full synthetic from suzuki it is the recommended oem i believe and i needed about four of those so it came out to 51.92 the gasket $1.98. uh because i opted for vortex rear stand this particular stand you need to have spools so I got the OEM Suzuki spools for $17.95. And with that, I actually picked up the Ram X-Grip uh, phone mount. That way I can record while I'm writing or be able to use it when I have GPS or whatnot. And I keep my phone in my pocket for $59.98. Overall, out the door, $257.15. That's because I was able to have a discount of $20 included into the deal. And I was a, that was for the, take that back. That was a $20 less discount for the Vortex rear stand. But if you look, I have loyalty points. That gave me an extra 10 bucks, so 30 bucks total. Uh, compare this price of $257.15 out the door to what could possibly be another 100 bucks for having the dealer do it. And with that, I wouldn't have a stand for the motorcycle and I wouldn't have a phone mount. And I'm walking away with those two things doing it myself. I'll make another video about the process of, you know, putting the stand together and what it takes to actually change the oil to this uh, GSX 750Z 2020. Uh, I'm very happy with what I came out to and what I say.